back to my vlog. We got Andy behind the camera. Hi. Today, I want to just give you guys a little updates, show you a little bit of behind the scenes business stuff, and then we have workout number one of my new program with my coach. Today's legs and glutes. I'm going to be showing you my workouts, but I'm also going to be bringing a beginner and someone who is a little bit more advanced, so you guys can actually see three different ways to do each exercise. Five, five minutes late to my meeting, so I gotta go, I gotta go. What's going on today? Well, I have some general housekeeping to go over with Heidi, which just basically means like a lot of little details to follow up on, just kind of random projects that I need answers on. I have some sock samples to look at. Uh, we have a bunch of fittings to do, which are urgent. I need to confirm some buys with Heidi to make sure that she's good to go on some pricing and units that we have prepared. <gasps> she got her lashes done, they look so good, right? I also got bangs. And she got bangs. Oh my <laughs> God, there's so many updates, you guys. I like a lot. Good call mm -hmm. on this. Wear still. Literally don't come out for like a year, right? Almost a year. Oh, <gasps> no, but that's cute. This one's gonna turn out a little bit better. Yeah. So. Which one would you rather wear, Ashley? Red or black? Some things. I think they're gonna do really well. I was up super late last night looking at a bunch of data and uh -huh. reviews and like, I was watching everyone's IG lives. Yeah. So for mad scientists, like people, are, they either love it or they're like, this is way too much. <laughs> this, that checkered one, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, that's great. Cause you can interchange really that in so many different launches. Little fun fact, the boutique for Buff and the Collection is opening hopefully December, January is like what we're looking at right now. Everything has come together so well. Just to prove the video actually, that's me playing in the boutique. It's so exciting. The team has put together the most beautiful like boutique exclusives for the boutique. So we're gonna have obviously the collections, but also we're gonna have like a little mini capsule moment that is going in the boutique. The pieces are beautiful. Our power just went out, guys. It's fine. But the show must go on. So what determines the quantity of an item? Whenever we're ordering items, I won't give you guys like the exact number for each piece and each color, each style, each size, because it definitely varies. But a total collection launch is somewhere in the six figures, total units that we're launching. But the item, the different colors, we might have like a Monarch bra, but we might have like 10 different colors. So we're ordering X amount of units per color. And then we also have a percentage system based on, you know, extra, extra small to triple XL and we order based on demand. So every single launch, even late last night, I was looking up all the data, all the analytics, all customer feedback on Mad Scientist, and we, we collect all that and we apply it to future collections. But I do sit down with Beverly and Ashka and we tackle it based on customer feedback and you know how many units, if we have like an orange color, we'll see how many, how many units we sold last time, if there was any left over, how quickly we sold out, we also have a back in stock app, which I highly recommend if you were business, back in stock is like one of my favorite apps. It will actually tell you how many people want the Monarch bra in rainwater blue. It'll in size small, in size medium, in size large. So you're actually able to track all of that data and be able to apply it to future collections. Yeah, we literally just, we're, we're gamblers. That's like our full-time job. We are Fashion gam gamblers. constant <laughs> gambling. So what's about to happen now? Now we're about to go into a meeting with Kayla. We're gonna talk about SKUs and barcodes, which, and that is the next hour. Because they're using yeah. all the SKUs. Well, I'm thinking that may, maybe they kept going on with the number, but they didn't, we're not actually paying for those yeah. SKUs that we're using. I think that's like typical kid, but it would be very detail oriented. So it could be somebody who's like multitasking basically. Yeah. Maybe, Cause yeah. if we were to assign someone to do that here, I was like, would they have to have a graphic background. Successful meeting, guys. Now I'm gonna go visit with Chelsea, our graphic designer, product photographer. Hello, ma'am. It's bright. I think what we're gonna do, you do such a great job of like, yeah. look how cool this is, guys. This is all Chelsea. Wow, it's so amazing. But we kind of want you to send that PDF to Rami, who's gonna like build out our coming soon page. We can reutilize that. We order about 110, I think it comes out to like 700 something. Okay, so it's about $8 per book, which is why we, we can't put that in every customer package. We would love to, but that is a, a huge cost. Save the trees, do the coming soon on our tab and you can see the whole sick lookbook. It's like our mad scientist like mood board, like the colors that we ended up doing. And then on the back side, you'll see some of the designs that are coming out. There's some pieces that didn't make the launch. I think we had two different like graphic-y style tops. We just, they did not come out. Nah. We went ahead and canceled those. Also, the skirt did not did not end up doing that. Wait, why didn't we end up doing that? That was a really cute skirt. 
What's up guys? Meetings are done. Now it's lunch time. Let's see what Mama Guzman cooked up. See the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, creamy lemon butter chicken. I'm so Ooh, this looks real good. Lunch today, we got creamy spinach chicken. So I got two chicken broths with some spinach on top. I'm gonna get some yogurt and then a cookie. This is real good. Scale one through 10, how good? That's great. Don't look at my plate. I didn't put any spinach on it. Yes, Heidi. <laughs> I'm making a, a cheap version of a poke bowl. Yeah. I'm gonna come here. Who's cheating on 3D? Who's cheating on 3D? Oh no, she opened the drawer. Whoever's cheating on 3D, please raise your hand. Okay. Let's start a secret wait, stash. Wait, wait, Next thing that we're gonna do is watch our behind the design. So since Mad Scientist is launching, gosh, I'm like, we can have. This is where uh, myself and the two fashion designers sit down and we kind of describe all the pieces launching. And usually, I watch it, Paige watches it, and now our new production assistant, meet Baraka! Hey guys! <laughs> so we're just gonna make any revisions that we needed to. <laughs> another behind the design we are so excited to be here to announce our newest pieces launching our mad scientist collection everything will be launching on october 16th like the stitches on a doctor's table like anatomy Whoa. the next revision at 434 we're going to go ahead and let people know about the new fabric update okay the thing that we're gonna have guys is we are looking into a few different boxes. All of our boxes are usually custom made, but we do have some packages that we are sending out to some editors for some major magazines. I'm not gonna say which ones, but I think there's about 12 different ones actually we're sending product to. And we don't have enough time to get the boxes made because since everything is built from the ground up, it usually takes us a few weeks to custom make a design and then get them made. They're boated here, so it does take about two to three months. However, in the meantime, Amazon has some great options. So we're trying to find, and this is great, like if you guys are wanting to do PR boxes and you don't meet the minimum order quantity to get custom ones made, Amazon is a great place to get poly mailers, to get boxes. Baraka, did you expect your first day to be on Amazon looking at wedding boxes? No, I didn't, I didn't know honestly what to expect. I was just, like I said, halfway crying the whole morning. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm just happy. Cause you're like, I'm gonna hate it here. Oh no, 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 really, because honestly, is I have all these fashion degrees and I, <laughs> I have all this fashion stuff. Which is like, amazing. We love that. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like we're, we're in Houston. I'm gonna do that. Oh. So yeah. it's like when I got here, like when I got the call, I'm like, I just, I'm like, oh my god, I did it. Yes, we love it. We're so, so excited. I was like, it's like a nine year journey. I literally went to school straight. I did not take a break. Wow. Only break I did have was what? Christmas break? I went in the summer. Yeah. So if you're going to school, just keep going. I promise you, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna quit. Just keep going, I promise. I did three in eight years. Global retailing, fashion merchandising, and I did psychology. Wow. And then what's about to happen? <laughs> Next meeting I have right now is an inventory management meeting. So Heidi, yes, nice to meet you guys. Awesome, I've heard wonderful things about you guys from Kayla, so I'm excited for the meeting. Canada, we do have a lot of customers over there, so we do have a warehouse over there, which I would like to keep, mainly because a lot of our customers are in Canada. I'm sure probably two pounds in order, look like um, three, or four, three to five pieces, is that something right? So right now it's two and a half, it kind of depends like month to month, like if there was a lunch or just daily, yeah. but sounds that's good, thank you guys so much. Let's do that, let's do a Friday evening. I mean, or if you're okay with us raging on a Thursday night and then allowing us to come in late, come, come in late or work <laughs> from hungover, work from home, home, <laughs> hungover. Like, we'll have um, a Christmas party. Oh. Well, no, I was trying to think, I was like, and then I'd still have to come in. I was like, if I'm, I'm going to rage, I'm going to full on rage. I want to rage too. That's why I think Friday night. Friday, Friday night. night. Yeah. Friday night. What just happened? Oh God, somebody thinks just happened. What did we, oh, Christmas party. We just planned the Christmas party. Yep. And uh, well, we, we didn't plan plan everything yet. We're not able to do our big, fun, elaborate gala next year, next summer, whenever things kind of go back to normal, we'll do a gala again. I'm so excited. Um, but we're still gonna have a lot of fun. So we're trying to find a restaurant where we can bring the whole team. And then whiskey? 
And then me and Kayla have to do a day trip to Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. Never been for inventory management. That sounds fun. <laughs> so I'm trying to convince her instead of, cause she's like, we'll just go real quick. How she likes to fly out at like 5 a.m. Yeah, and then come back at midnight yeah. and then come to work the next day. I'm like, why don't we? Why don't you just meet Andy? Did that ever went to Dallas for a day? It was oh nice. God, like there and back. I was so tired. <laughs> she was exhausted. I was so tired. Like, I love it. I'm, I'm a good like get there, get back. So next thing on our agenda guys, French braiding, the lovely Mary. Hi. Thank you so much. Head of our customer service. She's also has a lot of skills. French braiding is one of them. We're hiring another customer service representative who's gonna be working on the weekends. So it's more of like a Thursday through Monday. Doing emails, helping out with social media comments to get to more urgent customers. So we have, I think our top five resumes. <clears throat> I'm gonna read some to Mary. Same thing, I always say, if you can get yelled at in person, you can get yelled at over email. Oh, yeah. totally. Yes. Even better, easier. Love that. Just get a feel. Who do you cool? think is like best after hearing all those? Yeah, I'm like, wow. Oh, the hard part was hiding your extensions. Do Andy's hair next. You ready? <gasps> no! What are you doing? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Definitely not eating another cookie. I'm fine. Looking for a pre workout? I don't recommend eating a pink cookie before vlogging. However, we are headed to the gym. Got on the new. Let me just put my cookie down. So I'm wearing the new Loch Ness legging. So cute. Our catalyst crop with its like little stitching detail, super cute. I'm also wearing the Heartbreaker bra, so it matches the orange, real cute vibe. Then I got the new Game Changer backpack. Y'all wanna show you new outfits? Hello, these are Untamed Joggers and Onyx. This is the Evolve Sports Bra. It's so cute. And then this Mo, Mo, Mo. And the Rebel legging in holographic black. Love. Heartbreaker bra in Onyx black. Yes. <laughs> All right, so workout number one of my new strength building mass program is starting today. I actually got the program like a month or longer ago, and I've been working out, but I haven't actually officially started the program. I had a lot going on business life, personal life, trying to move, trying to get the house done. I'm giving excuses, but honestly, it was just overwhelming. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm making myself a priority, let's do this. I really wanna build my strength, build some mass, let's go. I also brought Paige along to be more of like that beginner, cause she really does not work out at all. She looks great, she just doesn't work out. So I'm gonna kinda give her some guidance. And then Mo, who's actually my executive assistant, she's a power lifter, she is strong and she is badass. I would say I'm more of like intermediate, she's more advanced, Paige is more beginner. So between all three of us, be a good time. Girl. All right. I am. Hold on. Go. You got this, right? I am the expert. <laughs> Beginner. Right here. Come on, girl. Yeah. All right. Ready? There you go. Perfect. You got a perfect form. We love that. All right, guys. First exercise we're going to do is a squat. There's a couple different variations that you can do. We have Paige doing more of the beginner version. I am the barbell is too heavy. You can hold a dumbbell, you can hold a plate, you can hold a kettlebell. And then next up is myself. I'm gonna do a conventional squat. Let's go. Orange. Orange you glad we're working out. one and a half. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. You're gonna do that full rep, and right at the bottom, you're almost gonna do a pull. So it's one and a half rep. It's killer. Just think about putting your hips back. Keep your shoulders back, so it's like this. Like Next exercise, guys, is a Romanian deadlift. We have Paige doing the beginner version right now, and this is something that she very much struggles with, this certain exercise. We all have that one exercise. So we're really focusing on form right now. We're lowering the weight quite a bit. It's okay to humble yourself, do low weight. Really focus on that form before gradually increasing your weight. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do an intermediate option for a Romanian deadlift with a barbell. Alright guys, 
guys, another option, more advanced version, is gonna be a deficit Romanian deadlift. This is where you're gonna stand up on a platform. It's gonna give you a deeper range of motion. Shout out to Mo, because that's a hard one. Next exercise we have is a leg extension. Now, this is a great exercise for beginner, intermediate, advanced. There's so many different ways that you can do it. So we have Paige, we have Paige here on the leg extension machine. You make legs, both legs at the same time. Nice, controlled, and this is, this is great. I'm gonna be up next. Intermediate option for your legs. We got some sissy squats. I'm no sissy, but I'm gonna show you how to sissy squat. There's actual machines for this, but Alfie doesn't have one. <laughs> Christian. So I'm using a Smith machine, kind of making my own little sissy squat machine. Alright guys, next up we have an advanced version of a leg extension. You're going to see Mo here doing all the cable machine. You can handle grip. Because of the single leg, you can hold on to a bar for support if you want, but it is going to require some coordination, some balance. It is a very difficult Had Baraka spill a pile and then now Paige. We're one and one. All right, guys, next exercise we have is a hamstring curl. We're going to show you a couple different variations. This beginner movement is great. I would say it's more beginner intermediate because I actually love doing these. Um, you're going to use a Swiss ball to actually do the hamstring curls on. Paige, you're killing it. All right, guys, intermediate. We're gonna do a lying hamstring curl. You can all see them seated. Love both, but I do prefer doing the lying leg curl style. Let's do it. Also, a little tip I want to say with these. You want to do full extension. So your leg is going to be fully extended. You're going to curl all the way up. I do see some people sometimes just doing half wraps. I'm like, no, no, no. Full extension, curl all the way up. Full extension, curl all the way up. All right, guys. We have an advanced version of a hamstring curl. You'll see, you see Mo here. You see Mo here doing GHG hamstring curls. Very difficult movement. I just did a few reps myself. Definitely advanced. She's going to have her body lay out straight. And she's going to actually use her hamstring to curl up. Do your calves. All right guys, the next exercise that we're doing are for the calves. Now a beginner option is leaning up, up against the wall, just in case you know, you're new to balancing yourself. I know some people have some issues with that. So definitely feel the burn. Intermediate option for this exercise is to do this on a plate. I'm using a 55 pound plate, so it does have quite a bit of depth. Let's go. There we go. All right guys, we have Miss Mo doing the advanced version of a calf raise. This one is a little bit more difficult. You're gonna stay in a squat stance while holding a dumbbell. It's really a full body workout, but it is gonna burn your calves. All right guys, last exercise is core. We're doing some core today. We're doing some crunches. We have Paige here doing a beginner version of a crunch. This is perfect. She's got her body flat on the floor. Her feet stationary, flat on the floor. She's got her hand behind her head, and she's killing it. Experience, um, influence. I feel influenced. Do you feel fitness? Intermediate version, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Swiss ball. Doing this, you're gonna get a deeper range of motion for that core exercise to be a little bit harder. We have Mo here doing the advanced version on the Swiss ball. This is a very difficult movement. Similar to what I did as intermediate, but we're switching up a little bit. We're having her actually pull the leg opposite of the arm. This is gonna require a little bit more coordination, a little bit more balance, and it's really gonna burn your core. Yes, yes. All right, guys, we are back at the office. It is 6.30 and still got a lot left to do. I'm gonna go home and look over all the data, the analytics, numbers, stuff that's probably boring to you guys. So it's gonna be a long night. 
This was a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. It was super exciting having Andy back behind the camera. Mm -hmm. So, woohoo! So many updates for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Baraka, who is our new production assistant. She's incredible. So excited to have her a part of the team. Poor thing, today was her first day, and I'm like, hi, introducing you to the vlog, hello. But she's gonna do great. This video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment below your favorite part. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I think it's time for a giveaway. Yeah? I think we should do a giveaway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fill up a game changer. I did this on Buck Money Collection Instagram. We had an insane amount of entries. I'm going to gift a game changer backpack filled with a protein, BCAAs, a glute band, stickers, all types of goodies in here. All you have to do is give the video a thumbs up, comment below your favorite part, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll pick the winner in the next video. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all. Miss y'all. Yeah, we're back. Yay. You know, the, you know how I know you haven't vlogged in a while. Huh? Um, the buttons down here. Subscribe. Sub subscribe's down here. Subscribe. Embarrassing.